Hello students, uh, we are going to continue our seven sheet problems in the previous uh, lecture. I have taught you the basics of projection of solids, uh, what kind of solids are there, what is different between the uh, polyhedra and solid of revolutions, so what are the types of polyhedras, and then we have taken one problem over uh, tetrahedron solid so today we are going to see the next problem it is on prism that is a pentagonal prism so first we will see the statement for this pentagon so this is your last problem so so this is your second problem for sheet number seven a regular pentagonal prism of 25 mm long edges and uh, axis 70 mm um, long rest on HP on one of its uh, corner of the base and the slant edge passing through the corner makes 45 degree with the HP and the side opposite to the same corner makes 30 degree with VP draw its position so first of all uh, we have to read the statement very carefully so in this uh, problem uh, they have given you so yeah they have given you a pentagonal prism so prism uh, in the first uh, lecture i have told you that uh, the base is and uh, base and the top of that solid should be the same polygon so this is a pentagonal prism so in pyramid it is a, uh, a apex point is there or vertex point is there instead of a same uh, pentagonal shape so a regular pentagonal prism is there that is having a side of uh, long edges is so this is side is 75 and the axis height means at the height of that solid is 70 mm so then the sec uh, the condition is given that it is resting on the HP so it is resting on XY line on one of its corner so it, there is a corner is given so no side is given in the previous problem they have given you the side edge so in this case corner is given corner of the base so uh, while inclination uh, with respect to HP it should be inclined on its corner okay then the slant edge passing through the corner makes 45 degree with HP means the uh, theta given is 45 so HP is the front view inclination so theta is 45 and the side opposite to the same corner so side so suppose the corner is A and the side is uh, C and D then that side uh, will make uh, opposite to the same corner will make 30 degree with the VP that is a top view inclination this is phi phi is given is 30 degree so you have to draw draw the projection of solids so let's begin with this problem so first of all we have to draw the reference line that is xy line so uh, while inclination uh, the pentagonal uh, prism how to start the top view it may be the corner may be at this side or this side but uh, in the statement they have given that when inclination it should uh, be inclined on its corner not on this side side edge okay so it should be inclined on this corner hmm? while first theta inclination so i am drawing this uh, pentagonal so uh, name that point uh, a b c d uh, base point is a b c d e and the uh, top of that prism is 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so uh, to get the center of this uh, prism only bisect any two sides you will get the center of the prism then project uh, this uh, points uh, towards uh, front view so you will get a dash b dash c dash e dash and d dash okay so d dash will be the corner and the opposite side will be a b in this case okay so uh, this is the base of your solid 
then the height given or the axis given is 70 mm height so 70 mm you have to draw it at this 70 mm okay and name this point as 1 dash 2 dash then 5 dash 3 dash then 4 dash okay so in this way so uh, this line should be done because this is the uh, the vertical edge uh, edge of this uh, solid okay so in this uh, statement they have given you a theta that is 45 degree so after this first stage you have to take some distance and draw this uh, 45 degree axis okay so this is 45 degree so uh, uh, take some distance uh, if uh, here you have to take uh, this d dash because it is inclined at d dash so from this d dash uh, instead of drawing this axis you can take uh, some distance uh, 50 mm or 40 mm uh, from this first stage and uh, plot here d dash and from this you have to take 45 degree uh, in this direction okay and then uh, you have to uh, replot the points e c dash e dash a dash and b dash uh, taking reference from this d dash so you have to take the compass and take the distance d dash uh, d dash uh, to c dash and take an arc over this 45 degree line and then again take this distance and mark it over so you will get this uh, base points hmm, here okay and then uh, the axis also you can get from this so in this way you have to construct uh, this uh, second stage front root by using theta 45 degree so uh, name that points okay so this uh, d1 to 41 dash is 70 mm so it's just normal to this normal to this uh, uh, this line it should be normal 90 degree okay so you have to incline your uh, align your uh, drafter over this and then you can draw 70 mm and reconstruct this uh, solid pentagonal solid uh, prism okay then after this uh, you have to again uh, take the projection from this front view to towards the top view and this top view towards this uh, second stage top view okay in this way and you can see that starting from the base point first uh, a a dash and a where it meets at this point then b and uh, b dash it meets at this point then c and c c and c dash meets at uh, at this point c and c dash it meets at this point then d and d dash meets at this point and same 1 2 3 4 you have to match the intersection points and draw this top view top view of the second stage so we are looking from this uh, observer is looking from the top side top side so uh, before drawing this uh, the outline should be dark okay? as in the previous lecture also uh, i told you that outline of the solid should be dark so a1 b1 c1 and then this 3 4 5 okay e1 okay so all sh uh, sh outline should be dark then uh, the next now you have to observe it uh, which will be visible which will be not visible uh, looking from top top side so observer is looking from this so observer can uh, see the top face pentagonal face so uh, one two three four five all all this uh, sides of the top uh, pentagonal solid is a uh, visible to the ob observer okay then what is not visible that is the base is not visible which is uh, from this uh, c1 to d and e1 to d is not visible and this uh, edges are visible because uh, looking from this side the outline is visible but uh, the portion which goes under this uh, prism uh, base will be not visible so this c1 to d d1 is shown by a hidden line then e to d1 is shown by a hidden line then again this d1 to 4 is this edge uh, face edge is not visible uh, from looking from this top so uh, d1 to 4 1 is shown by a hidden line 
now in the statement for this third stage uh, they have uh, given you phi that is uh, 30 degree i think so 30 degree uh, such that uh, the opposite side of that corner should be makes 30 degree angle so this d1 first uh, uh, it is inclined at d1 point that is the corner point of the uh, uh, pentagonal prism then the opposite side is a ab so it should uh, yeah, incline 30 degree so this side ab should be inclined 30 degree so in this way first of all okay i will explain it. Uh, okay so first of all you have to uh, draw the uh, 30 degree line okay then uh, starting from this uh, a1 and b1 okay so consider a point here first okay so you have to reconstruct this uh, second stage top view here with an inclination angle of phi uh, 30 degree with respect to vp so for that uh, consider a point here okay that is a point then uh, take your compass and uh, take the distance from a1 to b1 you will get this b2 point okay then uh, take this center distance and uh, in between this a and b you will get this this point so from this point uh, take your compass and take distance from this to this uh, for one point so that is uh, normal to this this uh, th phi angle 30 degree line so it should be 90 degree a uh, from for this from this line okay it should be normal so it is 90 degree so take this distance up to 4 1 you will get the 4 point then for d1 again take uh, 4 1 to uh, d1 distance you will get this d point uh, now for and this c uh, c and e e point you have to take uh, distance uh, you can take uh, a e distance first a as a center and then use d as a center okay to get e and to get c b as center and d as center you will get c so take distance a to e take an arc over here then distance d to e and uh, d as a center and take an arc over here you will get e similarly you will get the c point so take distance b to c from b take an arc then d to c uh, in this way d to c you take an arc you will get c point similarly uh, for this uh, 3 and 5 you have to use the same method uh, that is uh, use centers uh, 1 and 4 and 2 and 4 as a center and then take the arcs and complete this uh, prism hmm, pentagonal prism top view of the second stage now after completing this uh, show the same hidden lines over here uh, outline over here then the edges which is directly uh, dark you have to take this this edge also dark this edge also dark in this case here here also dark okay now uh, take the projection uh, towards front view of the th uh, third stage okay and from this front view you have to take uh, the projections now again same starting with a uh, a and a dash b and b dash c and c dash you will get the intersection points okay now again which will be visible and which not uh, uh, will be not visible to the observer again you have to look from uh, the bottom side okay bottom side so this uh, one two three four five uh, uh, the top face is directly visible which is shown in red color directly visible to the observer uh, and first of all you have to uh, draw the outline uh, direct uh, dark okay uh, outline dark after that after that you have to uh, observe from uh, the bottom uh, from this side observer is looking from this side downward side you this red color will be directly visible so your uh, pentagonal shape of the top face should be dark then uh, again uh, the 4 to d now 4 to d will be directly visible so 4 to d is so 4 to d is dark line again then uh, 3 to c is directly visible so c and 3 dark line which is not visible now so uh, visible uh, is not there is the uh, line mm, 
this one and a will be at upward side this face edge should be at upward side so this a and one will be not visible to the observer so shown by a hidden line then this uh, a to b is not visible and then a to e is not visible because it is uh, remains upward which is not visible to the observer when looking from this side so a uh, show by a hidden line in this way okay so this will complete your uh, problem uh, number two hmm? okay so you can again uh, for reference you can rewind this and then draw it hmm, on your sheet so this is your second uh, problem for sheet number seven uh, then the third problem uh, is a cone uh, cone problem okay so i will start that first we will read the statement and then go for the answer uh, so in this pro third problem uh, a cone diameter of base 60 mm and height 70 mm is given so cone diameter is a uh, 60 mm it's a base and height is 70 mm so uh, apex point is at 70 mm is resting on hp it is resting on hp on the point of periphery of the base so it is resting on hp okay periphery of the axis of the cone makes 60 degree with hp so the front view inclination theta given is 60 degree and 30 degree with vp okay so axis of the cone so inclination will be uh, respect to the axis of the cone okay so theta given is 60 degree and phi given is 30 degree so this is the uh, first uh, for second stage inclination uh, with respect to front view and this respect to top view in the third stage so draw the projection of the cone when the apex is nearer to the vp so you have to draw the projection of the cone when the apex is nearer to the VP. So the apex point should be nearer to the uh, reference line VP point. Okay. So you have to consider that and then you have to uh, draw it the third stage. Okay. So uh, first problem we have covered uh, that is a, a pyramid type that is tetrahedron. Mm -hmm. Then second problem is a prism type problem and this one is a, a solid of revolution type that is a cone type problem we are taking the all varieties in your sheet number seven so let's begin with the problem uh, x y first of all reference line so base given is uh, 60 degree diameter so radius 30 you have to draw the circle and these are the imaginary generators okay so you have to divide this uh, into eight equal parts uh, there is horizontal and uh, vertical axis also there so a b c d e f g h so eight equal parts you have to divide it uh, so there is a horizontal line also and a vertical line axis also is there mm. so after dividing this so this is are called as the imaginators to get the uh, exact points uh, while drawing the uh, circular or uh, periphery points okay now uh, the height given is 70 mm so the apex point uh, is this o, o point so this is a o point so draw the center line okay so this is a solid of revolution problem so you have to draw a center line here and the height is 70 mm then project the, all these points uh, that is a dash b dash h dash c dash g dash d dash f dash and e dash okay in this way you have to project it and then uh, you have to join uh, a dash to o dash and e dash to o dash uh, the remaining this these are the imaginary generators okay so it should be faint and the outer uh, side should be a dark one so this a dash to o dash and uh, e dash uh, to o dash is a dark you have to show by dark lines and then these lines are the images you have to show by a faint lines okay because we are, are imagining it so uh, the first state theta given is a 60 degree and the uh, it is 
related to only axis okay there is no edge in this case it is a revolution in this a triangle is rotated over the axis so uh, e dash uh, so take some distance suitable distance and consider this e okay so uh, this side should be uh, this is axis is 60 so this will be 30 degree I have to take 30 degree uh, then uh, plot these points uh, e dash d dash g dash h dash a dash points and over this line hmm? over this line and then again uh, this axis also have to plot and then uh, reconstruct this with inclination angle theta equal to 60 degree similarly in the previous problems hmm? okay so now now we have to project this uh, front view hmm? so name these points they have not shown the points here okay so you have to give uh, the points here uh, b dash h dash okay uh, before this uh, you have to give the points so a dash here should be a, a b dash b1 dash and h1 dash then here should be uh, c dash and g dash and uh, <clears throat> here should be uh, d dash and f dash and then last one e dash okay then you have to uh, project uh, uh, the points uh, to, uh, towards downward that is uh, towards the top view of the second stage and from this uh, top view of the first uh, first stage you have to uh, take the projections in this way okay now uh, a will meet at a b will meet at at b uh, b dash uh, same uh, as we solved in the previous problem okay so again uh, o dash you can use your compass and directly you can join or you can uh, use uh, uh, use your um, <coughs> french curves to draw these points okay so minimum two to three points uh, should be uh, mm, made at the time of joining and it should be uh, joined by a smooth curve okay by using a french curve okay okay so in this way first of all again the same rule the outline of the cone should be dark so you have to first uh, draw this outline okay then uh, looking from this top side uh, you can see that uh, apex point is dark okay uh, so uh, the edge uh, so this uh, outer edge is from looking from the top uh, the points imaginary points and this a will be directly visible up to g and c so this half portion will be visible outline will be visible and half portion of the base will be not visible due to the obstruction of the view so uh, from this g1 to c1 uh, towards e it should be not visible to the observer so you have to show by a, a hidden line as shown in this figure okay then after this uh, the phi angle given is a uh, phi angle is 30 degree okay and another condition they have given that at uh, the apex point and or the vertex point is uh, closer or nearer to the xy line reference line vp okay so for that uh, you have to take uh, first of all uh, draw uh, 30 degree line over here then uh, consider as uh, then normal to this uh, 30 degree line and uh, draw a line this axis line uh, and there you uh, consider this O point okay so reconstruct it uh, take the distance from O or uh, so this uh, distance from O1 and take then take that arc okay so take an arc over here okay yeah, so this will be your locus of o2 okay again take an arc over here and this is o2 okay so uh, instead of uh, drawing in this way uh, you can uh, draw uh, here uh, consider o point first and then uh, after this uh, reconstruction of this uh, will be done uh, just uh, take the distance uh, from O to C, O to C, then uh, take distance here, 
okay then o to g take distance here straight line then o to e take a distance here okay then o to a take a distance here a2 and then uh, again this o to this o1 take the distance and and you will get o2 okay so in this way you have reconstructed the uh, cone over here instead of using this uh, true length and locus of you can uh, uh, draw uh, in a uh, simple way okay so just uh, take an 30 degree i will repeat again uh, 30 degree angle uh, then uh, uh, take a consider a point and over in that at angle and then uh, just take the distance uh, uh, from this o as a center uh, c and g and then uh, a and e okay and last o to o1 distance okay and you will get the reconstruct this uh, second stage top view over here now you have to project these points uh, towards upward direction okay and from this you have to project towards front view okay? and then again you have to make that points uh, a to a a dash so a2 to a2 dash b2 to b2 dash c2 to c2 dash and and so on okay so after meeting this so what will be visible what will not be visible first of all the outline of your cone on should be dark okay then uh, looking from this side the oh, entire base will be visible to the observer so it should be uh, shown with a dark line okay so in this way uh, this completes your problem so base will be directly visible because uh, where the observer is looking from downward so base is directly visible and all the points of the base will be visible and the outline and uh, should be a visible one hmm? and uh, other this construction lines should be uh, imaginaries so that should be uh, this should be shown by axis line okay this also shown by axis line this also shown by axis line axis or a central line so this completes your uh, sheet number seven so after this uh, corona ends you have to submit uh, the sheet i will upload the next eight number sheet also uh, so stay tuned uh, i will upload uh, till monday monday uh, all three problems of your uh, section of solids will be directly available on youtube and then you have to complete it it and then submit at the time of the submission thank you